So you mentioned public transportation, um, air taxi service, for example, uh, emergency medical services. It, any other applications, even long term, 5, 10, 15 years down the road, any other applications uh, that you're especially excited about within advanced air mobility? Yes, absolutely. So to be honest, the thing that gets me most excited about this isn't actually the air taxis themselves. I mean, I think that's pretty cool. And I've, you know, volunteered to be a guinea pig riding in one of those. But what gets me more excited as somebody who's tracked this industry for several decades is that this is part of a technological continuum and it doesn't stop with air taxis flying 30, 40 miles. So, you know, we mentioned the fact that most of these aircraft are going to be electric. Well, that has a huge implication for the discussion about how environmentally sustainable air transport can be. Because, um, you know, a lot of people aren't mindful of this, but there is a commitment that was made in Paris several years ago by governments to achieve so-called net zero carbon by 2050. It's not a suggestion. It's a legally binding agreement that countries have committed to. And aviation is going to be a massive part of that. So this electric propulsion gives the core building block to move air transport away from depending on fossil fuels. It's not going to get there overnight. But the people who are now working on so-called battery electric aircraft are leading the way towards a future that could well include hydrogen powered aircraft using hydrogen with fuel cells to produce electricity in ways that's far more uh, effective than, than being limited by batteries. And so over the next decade and even two decades, I think we're on an incredible journey that is going to take us from short range electric taxis right up to airliners, potentially powered by hydrogen being much, much cleaner, if not totally clean. Um, and, you know, in Europe where I am, this is a really, really big issue. There are people protesting at airports. There are people saying, hey, aviation people, you know, your future is by no means assured. You know, you're destroying our planet. So you better have a good plan to stop doing that. And this is part of that plan. I find that enormously exciting. Uh, and then there's the whole question of the of the autonomous technology, the automation, uh, which is no less transformative in different ways.